Thanks for clicking on Zeitgeist. I'm Willie Geis. I think everybody enjoys a good episode of Jeopardy. It's a welcome intellectual exercise in a world of mind-numbing television. But there is a growing concern among fans of the show that after 25 years of having all the answers, Alex Trebek has become a little too smug for his own good. He's always very pleased by the failure of the show's contestants. Have you noticed this? With that hint of Canadian condescension in his voice, he'll say, Ooh, sorry. We were looking for the Treaty of Tartu that, of course, established a border between Russia and Finland in 1920. Everyone knows that. Listen here as Trebek does everything but call the player an idiot when he misfires on a daily double. Make this a true daily double, please. All right, here's the clue. This Asian capital was built between 1912 and 29 and designed by the British architect Luchens. What is Phnom Penh? No, what is New Delhi? New Delhi. Yeah, it hurts to miss that one. Yeah. What is that? Hurts to miss? That's just a total cheap shot. It's time to knock Trebek down a couple notches. That, my friends, is where the good people at IBM come in. The company announced on Monday it has developed a computer that its developers believe can ace Jeopardy, and in the process, give Trebek his long overdue comeuppance. Remember, IBM once built a machine that humbled another pompous man. The computer Deep Blue took on world chess champion Garry Kasparov in a pair of matches. Kasparov won the first match in 1996, but Deep Blue returned to defeat Kasparov the next year. Kasparov, of course, whined that the computer had cheated. IBM now says it has a computer that can compete against humans in a game of Jeopardy. It will read the clues as electronic text, tap into its vast index of information, and answer quickly in a synthesized voice, in the form of a question, of course, Trebek's little rule. Listen, IBM, synthesized voice, lasers, smoke machines, do whatever you want. As long as you wipe this look off Trebek's face, we're all happy, by any means necessary. Ooh, sorry. Turning now to international news that has absolutely no relevance to your life or to that of anyone you know, they're starting to use animals as astrologers in India. There you have it. Now I get some heat around here for pointing out the obvious oddities in Indian society. The ritualized throwing of babies off rooftops, men pulling buses with their mustache, just to name a couple. But I say again, People in that country are now paying animal astrologers. And I'm the bad guy? Here's the video evidence. You go through the beaded curtain that is requisite for any entrance into an astrologer's lair. You sit down and you wait for a parrot or a guinea pig to lay out your tarot cards. Bird just plucks the card off the pile and your destiny is revealed. In fairness, though, India is not the only nation to use rodents and domestic birds to predict the future. China is believed to have started the practice. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. In America, we are way too savvy to cough up money for some silly astrology scam. <laughs> the world for a fitness program that really works. Now search the stars. The Astrology Workout is the world's first fitness program customized for your astrological sign and body type, keeping you motivated and energized. Visit astrologyfitness.com today or call 888-343-37. Whoa, 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 wait. What the hell were those guys just doing? Put that back up there. Do we have it again? That's the workout? The guy on the left has the hat on backwards and the jean shorts. Guy in the middle is doing the river dance, and I have no idea what endomorph is doing. What does any of that have to do with my astrological sign? I don't get it. Incidentally, I'm a mesomorph Taurus. My workout consists of eating Skippy Super Chunk peanut butter out of the jar with a spoon while watching 10-year-old college football games on ESPN Classic. I gotta tell you, I have never felt better. That's Zeitgeist for today. I'll be back here soon with much more of the news you cannot use.